what's up guys welcome back to tech beans and this it's a much awaited matchup between the Xiaomi Black Shark and its rival, the Razer Phone. Once upon a time, the Razer Phone was the king of mobile gaming. It had killer specs and the world's first 120Hz screen on a smartphone. It was the gaming phone to get. But six months later, the Black Shark is born and it looks like it has what it takes to take on Razer's powerhouse. And in this video, you will witness which one of these guys runs the fastest, which one is cooler, and which one provides the best gaming experience. Two of the most powerful phones in the world battling it out for supremacy. Which one will come out on top? It's time to find out. Let the battle begin. No. Okay, here we go. First up is the specs. The Black Shark already has Snapdragon 845, while the Razer phone is still using the old one, the 835 processor. Both of these guys have 8 gigs of memory and 4000 milliamperes of battery. So I added a battery percentage indicator here to keep track of the battery life. And before we start the speed test, just wanted to make sure that there are no apps running in the background. First up is Google Chrome. Hmm that actually open up at the same time. Okay, let's try the Google Play Store now. That's still open up the same time. Or my eyes is just not fast enough to notice the difference. Let's try the third app, and this time it's YouTube. Oh, there you go. And there goes the Razer phone. Nice. We're now seeing for the first time the Snapdragon 845 actually being snappier than the 835 processor. And now let's try our first game, Subway Server. Alright, Black Shark winning again, but not really by a mile. Let's just check out the Asphalt Extreme and see how it fares. This game is a lot heavier than Subway Server for sure. Oh, very nice. There you see it guys, the Black Shark is now dominating the Razer phone. I also see that the Black Shark is a whole lot smoother here compared to the Razer phone. Notice a little bit of frame drops in the Razer phone here. Now it's time for some rules of survival. If you're not familiar with this one yet guys, this is probably the most popular battle royale game on mobile right now, followed by PUBG, at least in terms of the number of people playing it. PUBG is still catching up and still in its early ages, I really do hope it gains more players in the mobile the world, its graphics is just way way better in my opinion. Right now there's just too few people in the game to actually enjoy it. Alright, it looks like the black shark is pulling away, it's not really what you call a close battle anymore. We do have one more game left and that's PUBG. While waiting for these guys to load, did you notice anything different with this place? I sure did. The Black Shark's color are a lot more saturated compared to the Razer phone. The colors on the Razer phone's display is kind of dull in comparison. You can actually adjust the saturation with the Black Shark, but not on the Razer phone. There you go, this one was actually close. Now it's time for the big one, the Antutu Benchmark. This will truly test both phones processing and graphical power. Let's just start now. The Black Shark already ahead here. The Black Shark definitely looks smoother than the Razer phone, and the colors look a lot better on the Black Shark, in my opinion. You can really notice the frame drops on the Razer phone here. You can really feel the Snapdragon 845 and the Adreno 630 are leaps ahead from its predecessors. I really do recommend you guys play this video in 60 frames per second. You will only notice the big difference on that mode. As for the display refresh rate though, the Razer phone is much smoother compared to the Black Shark, but not by a mile. It's just noticeably smoother. In terms of real world use though, there isn't any game out there in mobile that would go higher than 60 frames per second anyway, so you won't really notice the difference at all when gaming, as you will see later. But yeah, going back to this benchmark test, the Black Shark reached a whopping 266,009, while the Razer phone was only able to get 191,195, that's a 75,000 point difference, which is a whopping 40% difference in performance. 
the Black Shark not only demolished the Razer phone, but also every other phone in Antutu's ranking list. It's currently number one, followed by the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, S9, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, and the Mate 10. Very impressive. So yeah, let's see how hot these guys are. After the speed test, the Black Shark covering around 42.5 degrees Celsius, while the Razer phone is just around 41 degrees Celsius. Great, doesn't look like the liquid cooling on the Black Shark is working. Let's just see if it cools faster though. I'm just gonna give these guys a rest, 4.44 p.m. and after three minutes, let's see. And it dropped to 38.6 degrees for the Black Shark, 37.8 degrees for the Razer phone. So yeah, doesn't look like it cools faster when resting. So I kind of mentioned about the displays earlier on this too. As you can see on this close-up shot right here, the Black Shark has a brighter, more colorful screen. The Black Shark is on the left by the way, sorry for the confusion. The brightness has been set to max for both, and as you can see, the Black Shark definitely with a more superior looking display. By the way, the Black Shark is using a 1080p Full HD Plus IPS display, while the Razer phone is using a much higher 1440p Quad HD IPS display. Now it's time to actually play some games on these two. First up is PUBG. Now PUBG is currently capped at 30 frames per second, so I had to download this tool to allow me to hack the game and unlock max settings at 60 frames per second. Let me just start the game here. As you can see from these models right here, both of them have the same degree of detail, just that the skin on the Black Shark is a little bit warm due to the display's extra saturation, but as you can see, the abs, the abs look really kind of tight. The chests are firm, look so dang real. I can almost feel them. <sighs> oh, oh, <clears throat> sorry about that. PUBG, by the way, is running on Unreal Engine 4. This is a very graphically demanding game, and most phones aren't even allowed to go to high settings on this. But as you are witnessing right now, these guys are able to play this game smoothly. Both of these guys are actually in the same session, so we can actually compare them effectively here. As these guys are diving right in to meet their doom, what can you say about the color profile, guys? Let me know your thoughts on the display. The experience is totally different on both phones, and for me, I'm digging the Black Shark's color profile. File. Looks like the Razer phone is experiencing some frame drops right there. The Black Shark's still smooth though. Okay, now it's time to see how hot these guys are. Okay, 43 degrees Celsius on the Black Shark and oh, that's surprising. 46 degrees Celsius on the Razer phone and 43 minutes of speed testing and gaming. Both battery levels at 91%. So yeah, looks good. Rules of Survival Time, the game that is currently more enjoyable than PUBG on mobile right now due to the number of people you can play with, feels more dense and just more alive than PUBG at the moment. Same procedure here as PUBG, everything on max settings. Rules of Survival actually lets you go higher than 30 frames per second, so we don't need to use a tool anymore. By the way guys, if you aren't liking the color saturation of the Black Shark, you can easily change this on display settings. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, mm. Ha, noob, killed by my punches. His phone must be crap. My phone is just too fast and too smooth, I guess. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Ha, take that. There are a lot of noobs in this game. How can you possibly get killed with me playing like this? Now for some Asphalt Extreme, this game only caps at 30 frames per second, but the graphics is really intense on this game. This game is more on accelerometer or screen control based, so controllers really don't work well on these. We're just here to see how well these phones can handle this game though, and so far there's little to no stutter from both. I'll bet the Black Shark not really breaking a sweat here. Next up is Standoff 2, a game that looks and feels like Counter-Strike. This game is not really that heavy. I enabled the FPS counter here. Yep, you can actually see the FPS count here at the top right if you turn it on in the settings. And as you can see, the Black Shark barely even goes down from 59. The Razer phone too, but it did fell to 57 for a while. Not really a stretch here for both. Finally, we have NBA 2K18. The playoffs is already here, and I'm just waiting for the finals to happen. I'm a LeBron fan, by the way. I wasn't always one. Started out as a LeBron hater back then. Didn't like his style and attitude, but in the years that he has played the game, I, I just grew a lot of respect for him. Turns out he was a great guy after all, and now he's going for the finals yet again. Hopefully, I'll see him and his team on that stage again. 
Okay, so we did a comprehensive heat test to see if the liquid cooling does really work. Tested this out on a different day already. Both phones pretty well cooled at the moment, both hovering around 36 degrees Celsius. This is going to be straightforward. I'm just gonna play for a few minutes and see how hot these guys can get. And five minutes of playing, the black shark at around 41 degrees Celsius, razor phone at 45 degrees already. So I cooled the phones again and played NBA 2K18 this time. And another five minutes, black shark at 41, razor phone at 43. Hmm. Looks like it's working and it's consistent across games. Really nice. It actually does work. So yeah, that my friends is pretty much it for the performance, gaming and heat test matchup for the Razer phone and the Xiaomi Black Shark. I will be doing a camera comparison soon for these guys and yes, a full review for the Black Shark still in the works. Let me know guys which games you would like to see in the full review. So please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of it. This. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.